never knew she felt that way about me. All this time... I've been making her miserable all this time. I, I should go back and apologize. I don't think that will help. Fourier's problem isn't you, Pascal. It's Fourier. Her spirit has been crushed by years of doubt and self-loathing. Sympathy will only make the problem worse. But I... I love her, you know? I just wish she knew that. Oh, Pascal. Don't worry. She'll understand someday. You're the only one who can stop the Valkanis experiment now. Fourier knows that's true, even if she'll never admit it. If the experiment isn't stopped, Fourier's work will end up killing a whole lot of people. And no one wants that, especially not you. He's right. Helping us will save your sister's reputation and maybe even her life. Plus, we... we need you, Pascal. We can't do this alone. So, come on, pull yourself together and let's go. Aw, oh, little bro. Thanks, guys. You're the best. That was all right, Hubert. I know what she's going through. And besides, it would be far too quiet if she weren't around. Now, can we all stop talking and just head for Zavard? There's no time to waste. Quest to make. If you don't mind, I. I want you to fight me. Wait a minute, hold on. Fight you? What's this about, Sophie? It's what I want. Please. If you're just looking to train, then all right. Yes, let's call it practice. But don't hold anything back. Okay, Asbel? Fail. 
victory! But man, am I exhausted. You look pretty tired too, Sophie. Yes, but I'm relieved. Now I know if we have to fight Richard, I think it will be okay. Yeah? I realized something while fighting you, Asbel. Realized what? That you really are my friend. I still don't know what you're getting at, but... Uh, uh, achoo! Oh man, I'm starting to cool down. I don't want you two to catch cold. I'll get you something hot to drink. Let's go, Sophie. Okay. I didn't feel the urge to erase Asbel while fighting him. That means I can do the same when fighting Richard, because he's also my friend. Fourier said that Kurt is Fendel's chief science officer. There's a place called Fendel Tower north of the city that houses government agencies. I wager we'll find the Ministry of Science there. Okay, let's ask around and see if we can find a way inside. Do you think we could get into Fendel Tower with your military credentials? If he's been declared dead, then that likely wouldn't work. Hubert is correct. In fact, they may already believe there's a con man out there using my name. But we gotta do something. Indeed. Fendel Tower is only the first step. We have to meet this Kurt as well. If we can't find him, retrieving some of his research documents might be enough. Do you really believe this can be settled with documents alone? Speaking with Kurt is the only way to be sure. Frankly, I would have expected you to feel the same, Captain Malik. Well, I hate to break it to you, but I don't. I don't know where you'd get that idea. Captain?
Time sure flies. It feels like only yesterday that I made that friendship pact with Sophie and Richard. But we've all changed so much since then. I don't know what to believe anymore. Asbel? What are you doing out here? Sorry. I just needed some time to think about things. About King Richard? <laughs> you know me too well. Hey, remember the first time we met him? Of course. You broke into his room and then dragged him all over town. I was always surprised he enjoyed it as much as he did. He even wore that stupid disguise. <laughs> yeah, good times. Everyone was together back then, even Richard. But now he's all alone, with no one to support him. Sometimes I wonder if that loneliness drove him to his current state. I can't help but think if things could have been different. I was so caught up in my own training that I never thought to check up on any of you guys. If I had been able to notice Richard's troubles, maybe I could have stopped things from the way they are now. It's not too late. I don't know. Stubbornness is one of your strongest traits, you know. You're always pursuing some issue long after it's reached the point of annoyance. So if you believe he can still be saved, then don't give up. Just use the same persistence with him that you have shown me. Thanks, Hubert. That means a lot coming from you. I'm glad you're around. You always put things into perspective. Oh, come on. Besides, it's my job as the little brother to keep you out of trouble. <laughs> Ouch. If King Richard doesn't have anyone to trust, then at least he can go to you. Think so? You promised to believe in him. And you have an obligation to maintain that promise. I suppose it does. He's right. If I don't stop Richard, who will? I'm not going to give up, no matter what.
go. What are you doing here? <gasps> Ferma! You know each other? Of course! Everyone, this is Ferma. She's an Amarcian like me. Nice to meet you, everyone. So you work for Fendel now, right, Ferma? That's right. Actually, I work at Fendel Tower. The security is such a pain. You have to use this fancy security pass just to get in. Hey, so do you think I could maybe kind of sort of borrow your pass? I've wanted to see the inside of that tower forever! Um, well, I don't know. Please? I promise I'll just look around and not break anything and come right back! Well, all right. I suppose I can trust you of all people. Thanks, Fair Ma. I totally owe you. Thank you. 